The challenge has been, how do we engage younger people in the field of elder justice? Um, so unless somebody is naturally interested in older adults, it's very unlikely that you know, a, a younger adult is gonna say, hey gee, you know, I really want to get involved in the field of elder abuse, neglect, and exploitation. So, you know, so how do we engage them? And when I started to think about Carl's extraordinary work with the Legacy Project, it dawned on me that you know, using that survey instrument and having students you know, interview directly older adults would be a way in, a way in um, you know, to help them engage directly with older adults and to begin caring about older people and being inspired by them. And once that happens as an essential first step, then it seemed more natural for them to understand why we'd want to protect this natural resource. Um, we, th I think from there they begin to care about elder abuse, neglect, and exploitation and want to work to prevent it. I think what's exciting about this internship is it combines interest in elder abuse and elder justice, which a lot of people would see as obviously negative, with an emphasis on the resilience and the strength of older people. And of course, you could do one or the other. You could have an internship program that's based only on looking at elder abuse and problems abused elders have, or you could look at the more positive and resilient sides. But each one of those is incomplete. And in a funny way, that's the way our society treats aging. Either it looks as aging, as desolate and desperate and isolated and negative, or it looks at the best examples we have, the 100-year-old marathoner, the Betty White, and so forth. The, um, this program acknowledges uh, that for a lot of people, aging is a complex mix of what's good and what's bad, what's challenging and what's uh, exalting. And we want to bring those both together. And what we're going to do is we're marrying the Legacy Project with the New York City Elder Abuse Center. And so through these, you know, both of these exposures, um, they're going to be walking away, hopefully being not only inspired by older adults and caring about older adults, but caring enough about older adults to want to work to protect them, to want to work to prevent elder abuse and neglect. Uh, and what we hope that students get out of this is both an understanding in whatever profession they're eventually going to have that the problem of elder abuse exists, uh, that it's serious and often undertreated, but the, by doing legacy project interviews, um, they'll gain a sense of the profound wisdom of older people. They'll have the experience of empowering an older person to talk about issues they're having. And I think uh, they'll take away good lessons for their own life. So I think we see that balance as the hallmark of this particular program. So the interns will be working with the New York City Elder Abuse Center and the Legacy Project in New York City. At the end of the summer, what we are also going to be doing is working with students to bring back what they've learned back onto campus. They'll be working with an organization called the Ageless Alliance to develop some sort of um, educational project so that they'll be able to integrate what they've learned back on campus. Our young people have to be prepared for an aging society because our society is aging exponentially. Uh, older people, people 50 and over already outnumber people 18 and under. So we're a very rapidly aging society and that's exactly what this internship builds into. Often though in internships, people provide direct care in one way or another, help with volunteer programs. Looking at elder abuse is not something that internships have dealt with before. It's a complex problem. It takes expertise to deal with. It takes a structure to get involved. And that's really what this program offers through the New York City Elder Abuse Center. Uh, so I think really that's a key reason for an internship, is to get younger people thinking about elder ex exploitation and elder justice, and adding in this more positive idea of older people also as providers of wisdom, we think, uh, makes as much needed internship a more complete experience.